you can do it. It's Jurassic Boogie Woogie Woogie Woogie. That's what goes on in my brain sometimes. All right, let's talk about the Jurassic period. Um, Pangea is kind of breaking up at this point, um, separating out into what would what we now know as the modern day continents. Um, this is what North America looks like. We're up near now, more so the latitude in which we're going to reside at, about 30 degrees north of the equator along this line. That's actually right around where Arizona is-ish now. Um, again, no major glaciations during this time. Uh, but this was the, the golden age of dinosaurs. The whole Mesozoic era is the age of reptiles, but this is really the golden time for, for dinosaurs. Again, what most people think about when they think of dinosaurs come from the Jurassic or later. We had huge saur uh, sauropod herbivores, such as the, the so long Diplodocus. We had carnivores, such as the 35 foot long Allosaurus, which is the earlier cousin of um, like a T Rex. Um, so, carnivorous dinosaurs really diversified during the Jurassic. Also during this time, the oldest known fossil of a bird is uh, coming from the, the Jurassic as well. So birds evolved during this period. Um, <clears throat> T-Rex and birds both descended from the, the same group of animals, uh, Theropoda, or the same group of, um, yeah, yeah. Um, so here we are in the Jurassic, um, again, starting to get into things maybe a little bit more um, what we're used to seeing. Uh, the Apatosaurus, Allosaurus, which is like an earlier cousin of the T-Rex, uh, Brachiosaurus, one of the largest organisms ever to be on Earth, on land, Stegosaurus, one of my favorites, Compsognathus, and Archaeopteryx. More on Archaeopteryx in a little bit. So again, this is really the golden age of the dinosaurs. Um, the, the term dinosaur was invented in about the mid-1800s when they first started finding dinosaur fossils. And dinosaur means uh, terrible lizard. That's what dinosaur means. And this was specific to three organisms that were found. They were the, the first three dinosaurs that we discovered. Um, they were named Megalosaurus, Iguanodon, and Hyliosaurus. And here they are. Um... What's funny is that, um, or well, I should say this is Megalosaurus. What's funny is what we initially thought them, and then as we get further evidence, more fossils, and able to recreate better organisms, we can see how things change. So the, the Megalosaurus, when first discovered, you know, people thought it was this. This is what people thought it was. But then more time, more information, this is what we now kind of understand Megalosaurus to look like, not this. Same thing with Iguanodon. Um, m maybe they thought it looked more like more of a modern day iguana, but this is what we n kind of speculate that Iguanodon looks like now with more evidence, more information. Same thing with Hyliosaurus, right? From here to here. That's a, that's a big jump. That's a big jump. Um, Dinosauria, uh, the the... Uh, is it the kingdom or the group or the class uh, uh, includes the largest terrestrial animals that have ever lived. Brachiosaurus was the largest known dinosaur for many decades, but recently the Argentinosaurus surpassed the Brachiosaurus in size. Um, most people think that dinosaurs were slow, dumb animals. Uh, they weren't. Many were very agile, even the bigger ones. Some were quite social, traveling in herds, building nests, caring for their young. So they weren't just slow, dumb animals. So just a quick reference. So here's Brachiosaurus, what we thought was the biggest dinosaur for the longest time. And then we find the Argentinosaurus. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. <clears throat> Again, compared to a human being, here we go. And T-Rex was not the biggest carnivore. Things like the Spinosaurus were a lot bigger. Um... <clears throat> We've divided uh, Dinosauria into kind of two major groups, um, and that was in 1888. It might be time for a refresh, but in uh, we divided dinosaurs kind of along two, two lines, the Ornithischia and the Saurischia. 
based on pelvis construction. Remember, the way we grouped things taxonomy was based on a number of things. One of them, kind of their body structure. So looking at their pelvis construction, how the, the bones of the, the pelvis, the thing that connects your upper body to your legs, your pelvis there, um, looking at that construction, we took dinosaurs and put them into one of two groups. The ornithischians were bird-hipped, uh, as well as being herbivores, including both bipedal, two, and quadrupedal, four forms, two-legged and four-legged things. So they had these bird-like hips. And the cerisians, or lizard-hipped uh, dinosaurs, included carnivores on two feet, like uh, Triceratops, or Tyrannosaurus, excuse me, uh, and herbivorous, bipedal, two, and four-legged uh, sauropods. Um, more on this in just a little, little second, but so with the Ornithischians, things like Stegosaurus, Ceratopsians, like Triceratops, uh, Ankylosaurus, uh, Ornithopods <coughs> like the Iguanodon, and then how this is different than the Saurischian dinosaurs, things like Sauropods, like Brachiosaurus, Theropods, like T-Rex, etc. The etymology behind the names is not very accurate, as some Saurischians, lizard hip dinosaurs, actually had bird-like hips. Again, it might be time for a refresh. This was done in 1888. Uh, even more con confusing, you might think that birds descended, because birds evolved from dinosaurs, that birds descended from ornithischians. Like, uh, ornithologist is someone who studies birds. So that ornith part to the word at the beginning means bird. So uh, you might think that birds descended from the ornithischians, which had bird-like hips. However, birds are descended of saurischians, specifically theropods that had lizard-like hips. Okay, so again, let's look at the, the hips. So the saurischian versus the ornithischian. So we have the ilium, the pubis, and the uh, ischium. And notice how, see here in the saurischian, the pelvis, is, or the pubis, is me, pointing down, where here in the ornithischians, the, pu the pubis is pointing back, right? So the red, orange, and brown, red, orange, and brown, so how they're kind of different. These are the saurischians, and these are the ornithischians. So it was decided that dinosaurs can be grouped by looking at their pelvis into one or the other. They, they either have one of these or the other. And so that, that's how we started to, to divide the saurischia from the ornithischia. Now again, is it, uh, is it the best way to do it? Is there more information now? Probably. Can we probably reclassify these? Probably. But in any case, let's go ahead and pause here. Um, when we come back, we'll talk more about the Jurassic. See you back here in just a second.